Hey, Wacky, we were, ooh, okay, well, that seems pretty broken. Oh, geez, but there's also Pegasus Stampede. Oh, this format's gonna be broken, isn't it? All right, who's in the draft with us? Modern Max and some people I don't really know. Okay, so we are here for our first draft of Tempest Remastered, and we have Orem, Samite Healer, which is a very good card. There's also Pegasus Stampede, and I think I'm gonna be taking one of those no matter what. Um, I think it's probably just the Orem. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Hero. Yeah, it's funny. Um, I don't know if anyone has strong opinions on this one. Stampede is maybe splashable. Uh, I don't know how fast this format is. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll take Orem, but it's really close. It did seem like a good pack. Okay, interesting. And now we have Rootwater Hunter, AKA Tim. We also have Gravedigger. Um, <clears throat> these are just gonna be pretty stacked packs, aren't they? Okay, seven mana, six, six. Um, you can move counters all over. Yeah, it does seem like the decks can get quite broken just from what we've seen here so far. I think I'm just gonna take uh, these three mana guys with one power that have activated abilities uh, where you tap. Yeah. Yeah, Gravedigger is pretty nice. I don't think Spike Hatcher is bad either. Um, I don't know what the removal looks like in this format, but I imagine this is gonna be one of the better things to do. Screeching Harpies quite solid too. Just four mana, two, two flyer that can regenerate. Okay, pacifism at uncommon. Interesting. Oh, we also have Merfolk Looter. Um, I think the pick is now between those two. Uh, yeah, so it's like, do I want my interaction, which is uncommon apparently, which I don't love, or do I want my looter? And I definitely want looters, I think. It's not clear. I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna lean pacifism, but I could see that being incorrect. I feel like looter is better in a slower format. This format doesn't necessarily seem that slow to me. Um, it's also uncommon. Our rare is also double white. Yeah, I could see looter being a better choice. I'm not sure. I would like looters. Let's start with pacifism here though, for starters. Uh, oh, and okay, now there's a Gravedigger. Well, Gravedigger looter would have been cute, um, but happy to take a Gravedigger with nothing else in the pack. Um, what does Volrath's Curse do? How do you, like, sack a permanent? Interesting. Are there that many bad cards? I mean, so far, it feels like all the cards are good, <laughs> but maybe it's just because I just played IPA. Um, there's also Hermit Druid, but... I think I'm just gonna take Gravedigger here. Um, yeah, I think I just wanna play some kind of like Esper Control kind of deck. There's also like Vampire Hounds. There are plenty, okay, I'll believe you. Um, all right, so now what do we have here? Ooh, Lightning Blast, that seems pretty good. And we can just kind of keep going all over the place. We don't really have a reason to um, be in any particular color at this point yet. Um, and yeah, we are starting to see worse packs here though. Like there's Lightning Blast here and then there's like kind of nothing else. Who's passing to me by the way? I'm passing to Modern Max, okay. Well, that's much better than the other way around. Um, yeah, let's just take this, keep going. Okay, Gallantry, it's a nice card advantage. I think we're now taking Wayward Soul. Um, yeah, and Charging Paladin's not bad. Lowland Giant is okay. Yeah, if we'd taken the Looter, we'd be in slightly better shape because um, we could have Looter, Hunter, plus uh, Soul, and then we could be... Oh yeah, no, feel free. I, I appreciate the input. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but we can have... We can splash Black for Gravedigger, splash White for Pacifism, splash Red for Lightning Blast. We can even splash Blue for Rootwater Hunter. 
Target land becomes a 2-2 creature that's still a land, and it doesn't say until end of turn. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Uh, there's mulch. Mulch is decent. Unfortunately, we do not have any green cards or reason to play green. There's barbed sliver, which doesn't seem great to me. Um, I think I'm just leaning mulch. I mean, I could just take spell blast, but this doesn't seem very good to me. I'd rather just take mulch. We'll just, we'll figure it out as we go here. Okay. Wood sage now. There's also serpent warrior. Dungeon shade is fine. There's also repentance. We're kind of into repentance. If we take this, then maybe we get to... I don't want to force white, that's the thing. And it doesn't seem like white has been very open. I don't think we should take Wood Sage. I think we probably should take Repentance um, because we keep going all over the place for removal. I wouldn't mind a Serpent Warrior. I might actually be pretty happy with a Serpent Warrior if we got one. Maybe this card's worse than I think it is. Ooh, okay, this is a really nice payoff. Now we have three white cards and they're all pretty solid. Okay, this one is probably, yeah, one of the worst. There's Spirit Encore, which I think is pretty broken. And then there's Youthful Knight, which is just like a solid card for curve purposes. I don't know how much I want to care about curve. Um, I think I don't need to care about it yet since it's only pack one. So I'll take the Spirit now. And, okay, we can take maybe a Shadow Rift. There's also Canopy Spider. Um, actually, maybe there's Elvish Fury, which is not bad. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we'll take Elvish Fury here, but kind of just a hate draft. Oh, wow, this Looter Wield. Okay, that seems insane. Um, Sky Shroud Troll is quite solid, and I would be happy with it. I think we are now on blue, white, maybe splash black or red, though. How is this even possible that this is still in the pack? Okay, there's Conviction. There's also Vampire Hounds. Discard a creature card. Ah, I thought this was Sacrifice. I don't care about the aura, I don't think. So I'll just take this. Can maybe play some kind of greedy mana esper deck okay so white's pretty open blue is like open enough we'll see about the rest of it i think we are very very low percent to play green the fact that we wield the looter when everyone wanted to take the looter even i wanted to take the looter seems really good really good for us put this stuff over here the green stuff down here too. Ooh, just take another one? I think we probably do. I don't know whether intuition is any good, um, and I don't really think I care at this point. Um, so this is kind of how our deck is starting to look we just take another another Tim here and move along I don't really see a reason to do anything else seems fine and pretty soon we're gonna want to start picking up stuff for curve purposes um, anoint is interesting hmm. Kindle Falco seer this seems like a pretty bad pack I could take Scabland as like pretty terrible fixing for Lightning Blast. Yeah, this pack seems really, really bad. Okay, four mana, three, three with the spike ability and it can make one ones. Or I can take four mana, two, three reach, which seems horrible. I could take Whispers in the Muse, which is just like a playable whatever card, <laughs> which is maybe just something I need at this point. Because otherwise, yeah, I mean, I could be taking, like, Kindle. At some point, I need to make sure I actually get their unplayables. I don't want to take Anoint. I don't know whether I'm supposed to. Um, I think...
think it's okay to take whispers here. I mean, the fact that it always just cycles, not literally always, but um, it just seems like, wow, okay, that's pretty nice. Seems like it should be okay. All right, so now we have just another looter here, and then we have double looter, double hunter. We have the Samite healer, um, and otherwise the pack is pretty bad. I mean, it's not a horrible pack, but it feels pretty good to take this looter and just ship the rest of this. So looking for more interaction, that would be great. Um, just like more playables, honestly, could be a, a good start for us at this point. I think we are very solidly blue-white though currently after the way this pack has started. So that means that um, the other black card and the green cards are off the table and now we're just splashing or playing straight up blue-white and we'll see um, which one that'll be. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so now we have Dismiss, which seems really good. There's also Sift. Oh, and there's just Windrake, just literal Windrake. Um, Spike Colony is pretty good. I want to take Dismiss, but one of the problems is I don't really have a lot of stuff that I can do at instant speed. Um, but maybe that doesn't matter very much. I kind of just want to take this anyway. Um, yeah, maybe I just take this anyway. Just put a little bit more interaction in the deck. We do have Whispers, so if we make it to like six mana and we're holding up four mana and someone's playing around Dismiss, maybe we just draw a card. Soltari Lancer. There's also Time Ebb. <clears throat> Soltari Lancer is pretty solid. Uh, the 2-2 two -two flyer, I don't love that that thing costs 4 mana. That's not my favorite. So I think it's Lancer. And then um, just kind of hope to pick up a Youthful Knight or something. Try to even out the curve. I'm getting the impression that there's like no mana fixing, or at least like no good mana fixing in this set. Ooh, now we can take a Windrake. This thing attacks and blocks which the Sultari Lancer does not necessarily do. Um, can look for a time up later if we want one. Hmm. I don't want to play an Armored Pegasus, but maybe there's some point where I have to consider playing Armored Pegasi or something. But for now, we'll take a Windrake. I'm pretty happy about it. Malikos Drifters. Ooh, wow, Master Decoy. Okay, we did it. This deck seems really good. Okay, Thalicose Drifters, sure. Yeah. Uh, oh, and we have Smite. Okay, but I've been told that Smite is not as good in this format because there is so much evasion. Uh, I don't know if that means that it's like unplayable or whatever necessarily. Um, and I think I'm still probably taking it here. I don't think my other options are particularly good. Um, yeah. Okay, I can now take like a bandage or I can take spell blast or mounted archers, mnemonic sliver. I don't think I have any other slivers. I don't think it's very likely that I'm gonna have other slivers. I think it's okay to take a spell blast. It's either that or like bandage maybe. I don't know, let's take a bandage. It's probably harder to get, but my deck isn't very good at like blocking for instance. I don't know, I'll still take it. I think it's harder to get than spell blast. Now we can take this one. We still don't want this Thalicos Seer. Probably in the sideboard if we're lucky, but in case we're not, I'll put it in the main deck. Okay, Disenchant pretty clearly for the sideboard. Uh, I should probably actually be taking some copies of Maze of Shadows, just in case I'm getting like beaten down by shadow creatures. Um, but I think it's more likely that I would want to disenchant without, wow, very light Windrake without really knowing the format. I feel like my deck is quite solid currently. We are missing some two drops. Uh, we could cut this Charging Paladin, we could cut the Mounted Archers, but like 
pack one we had like some idea of what we were doing and pack two just it seems like it made it like really really good okay put this over there and then uh i don't know it doesn't really matter what we do okay all right another master decoy would be like one of the best pickups interesting that pacifism by the way is uncommon and master decoy is common oh and there is another master decoy so i guess we'll be taking that there's death's duet dark banishing there's also Fighting Drake, which is perfectly solid, 4 mana 2 4 flyer, but we have to take the decoy here. Um, yeah, so we're like really discouraged from splashing based on the quote unquote mana fixing that we've seen so far here. I don't think we want to take Scrivener, um, so we'll take a Youthful Knight now. I don't want to spend this high of a pick on it necessarily, but. Um, we are really filling out our curve by doing this. Seems okay. I wouldn't mind some more fours actually, like another Wayward Soul or Spirit Encore. Even another Fighting Drake, just something like that, that um, can fill out the top end now that we have a, little, uh, a couple more two drops. <clears throat> Staunch Defenders, eh, maybe that's interesting for us. I'm not really sure. But so far, I think this deck is quite solid, um, if not broken. But I don't really know what I'll be playing against. I'm guessing there are some cards that I won't be able to beat in this format. Um, hopefully, I just won't encounter them with this deck, because this deck seems pretty good. <laughs> Double Merfolk Looter. Like, wheeling the, the looter, I think, was just a really nice sign for us. We could take Thalicos Lowlands, and then there's also Thalicos Scout, right? Yeah, so it's a 3-mana 2-1 Shadow, and you can discard a card to return it to hand. There's Overrun. That's a card I would expect to lose, too. I don't think I'm going to take it, though. Am I just going to pass Overrun to Modern Max and then, then lose to that? Maybe I will. kind of just want to take this land. Or Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. This is one of the... Uh, this is one of the does not untap ones. I thought this was one of the enters tapped and uh, ping me ones. In that case, I think I might actually just hate draft this overrun. This pack is really bad for me. This Thalicos scout is not very important. And overrun is absolutely a card that, that would kill me here. So I'm glad I just take that out of circulation, huh? Like not very many people in the queue right now. Okay. So we have Warrior Encore and we have Merfolk Looter. Uh, next one damage that we dealt to Warrior Encore is dealt to target creature you control. Um, so I have two one toughness things, couple two toughness. I really don't have very many things that have high toughness. I think it's okay to take Merf bleh, Merfolk Looter number three over the Encore here. Um, yeah, I don't know, not sure about this. At some point, it feels like they're diminishing returns for all these. But hopefully not yet. The double white is always like a good reason to avoid that. Okay, smite number two. I'm not really sure we're into that. I kind of want to hate draft goblin bombardment because that seems like another card that could be problematic for me, especially with so many X ones. Um, and there's, I mean, technically a world where we could end up splashing, but I don't really think we want to do that. So I guess we're going to hate draft this. Yeah, there's just nothing in this pack that I'm super stoked about. So we'll just take the scariest cards out of here. Ooh, okay. Five mana, three, three flyer with a solid ability when it dies. Oh, there's also Sultari Lancer. Or whoops, Trooper, wrong name. Okay. Five mana, three, three flyer. When it dies, I may put it on top of its owner's library. Do I want to do that though? Do I want a card like that? Or do I just want to take the Sultari Trooper and try to race my opponents and kill them quickly? It's probably that one. <laughs> um, I like the Angel though. I just think that the Trooper is probably better. OK, 
Okay, another warrior encore. This time we'll take it. We can try to swing the mana now that we have like triple merfolk looter and that kind of thing. And the rest of the pack is pretty bad. And another spirit encore too. Great. Passing a spike feeder, kind of late troll. Oh, there was a rolling thunder. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> Maybe I should have hate drafted that one. I don't know. I probably took something playable over it though, so that's fine. Uh, standing troops, my old friend. Um, I think we'll take Gash's Swarm against like shadow creatures. It seems like this could be good. I can board out my shadow creatures to board in Gash's Swarm for theirs. Maybe. There are your staunch defenders, Wacky. Gonna probably hang out in the sideboard. Um, this seems like it could kill people potentially. I don't really care about the 1 1. Uh, I'll take another one of these just in case. I don't think I need Angelic Blessing. And actually, the turtle could be playable. Could even be better than the Paladin. So. Am I. Oh, wait. Did I have the Standing Troops? The standing troops is just a better version of the turtle. I think I might have passed them though. That's. Hmm. I think I probably took gaseous form. Um, do I want charging paladin or not? So the only change I'm making here, I don't think I want to play sixteen lands for any reason. So yeah, it's either. Um. And I think I'm going to go 9-8 here in favor of white. Um, it's either Charging Paladin, which is a Grey Ogre that attacks as a 2-5, or it's Horn Turtle, which is just a 1-4. I'll take out Horn Turtle. This could be a mistake, uh, but we'll figure it out as we go. Mana base is how I would have done it, which is nice. Not splashing anything, a couple hate drafts in the sideboard. That's fine. I think this is good. All right. Tis but a... A Sratch. That's the name of our opponent here. Looks like they are... I don't know if they're double queued in IPA. It says they are. Okay, and we have a pretty easy keep here. We have um, three white two drops. We have two planes. Charging Paladin, a little bit awkward. Two mana, what do you have here? Can't be blocked by white creatures. Okay, we got it. Well, we might end up being in trouble here. For now, we just get to do this, pass the turn. We are gonna be in rough shape if we can't draw land, but if we can draw land, should be okay. Opponent can draw land, which is not ideal. Maybe I should be playing 18 lands because I have three looters in my deck. Okay, or we can just spike the land easy. Um, we can't block any of this stuff anyway. I think we just need to try to cast some spells. Um, if we find land next turn, then we can go double master decoy, and then we can uh, go repentance, start tapping stuff down. Okay. Might just be dead here. Okay, lab rats, I don't care about that at all. And smurf occluder, okay, that is not a big deal. Land. Okay, nice. So now that we've drawn land, does that change our plans? I don't think so. I think we just go for this here. The one thing is I wanna make sure we don't die. Pass the turn. So now neither of these can attack. Opponent doesn't have double black here, so they can hit us for four. Um, we can Repentance to kill one of them, and then we have a Tapper for the other one. They're going to draw a card, discard a card. It seems like it's going to be really hard for me to win a game on the draw here, even though I've like hit all my lands and stuff. Deathstroke, okay. So the opponent is 
sack a creature. Um, I don't know. I guess I will sack this one. Sure. Ooh, the hunter. Okay, that should seal the deal here. Because Rootwater Hunter should just end this game. <clears throat> they do have to find... If they can find an answer for it, then maybe... Um, maybe I don't just win, but... They do like have to find an answer for it. It has to be like right now. Sure. I actually think I tapped the wrong one there. Okay, well, can't block that. Or mana, that one. That thing is pretty busted, I think. That's going to be a problem. Okay. How do how do I beat that? <laughs> I really uh I guess wait, I can I can throw like all my resources at it actually. I can attack for 2. And then if they block, I can ping it and cast Repentance on it. Very awkward, but maybe necessary. Okay, they just take it. Um... So what am I supposed to do now? I mean, I just have to cast my spells. Um, I want to do this now before they can do anything. So let's just shoot this right now. Okay. That one we can just kill with Repentance. So there goes Rootwater Hunter, presumably. But I think, yeah, even though there's a bunch of nonsense going on here, I th think we're in good shape, ultimately. Because now we get to go... Or wait, do they die? Hold on a second. No. Their life total's too high. They don't die. Tap. They are at major risk of dying here, though. That's the thing. Okay, draw a card, discard a card. Ooh, Spirit Encore. Okay. Um, so what do I want to do? I need to cast... I think I need to cast Repentance on this guy. Unfortunately, if I do that, maybe it's fine. Okay, we'll figure this out as we go. So start with this. Okay, just snap resolves. I tapped incorrectly here, but I think I was going to play this looter anyway. And then now we want to, I think we just do this, leave one back here. But they have to tap two things anyway. They can't kill me here, right? One, two, three, four, five. I don't think they're killing me here. Death's duet, okay. That's pretty good. Yep. OK. 
Okay, they just attack for two. So what happens now? Can I kill them? I might actually be able to kill them. So if I tap Trade Wind Rider, they have to respond by bouncing this. If they bounce this, uh, then they have to tap two other things. That means they have one blocker left on the ground, which means they have to, like they almost die. Okay, let's do it. So that goes back to hand. Oh wait, oh, they, they actually do just die now, right? Okay, got them. All right. I'm glad that I miscalculated that and that we actually had lethal. That was good. Okay, so they have a bunch of problematic cards. Um, the one for the Trade Wind Rider is of course insanely busted. Makes me wanna bring in Lightning Blast but they also had Death's Duet, which is a problem. Uh, and there's no fixing. So it kind of just feels like I just need to avoid them having that one. Um, easier said than done, of course. I could run... I don't want to play Gash's form. No, I don't think I'm supposed to play this one. I think, I don't know if I can play Bombardment or not, or whoops, or Lightning Blast or not, but I think there's a real argument for, for trying it. I don't think I can do that though. I think I just have to hope I draw my Rootwater Hunters and they just have all X1s again. <clears throat> Rootwater Hunters like really, really broken apparently. Okay, we do have one. Keep this hand. I have to lead on planes in this deck because we have that double white two drop. Okay. We get two. Nope, no shadow dude. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think it's fine to play island here. Just play the one that attacks. And then probably going to do the same next turn with Windrake. Just play the one that attacks. Is this getting killed? Sure. We got it. Pretty happy to make sure the edict doesn't hit anything I care about. Okay, they play that one. If they play this, then I'm just gonna jam the hunter here. Could go wrong, of course, but... Just say, do you have it? <clears throat> the other thing is they could have Deathstroke, so... Okay, just draw a card. That's a good start for me. Let's see what their follow-up is here. They just play like another one, then that's pretty... Yeah, okay, if they do nothing... Ooh, how about this? How about I kill this right now, and if they have removal, I just get to counter it. Um, I don't really think I care about that, but I will counter this. I'm not going to be leaving up this much mana for a while. Um, now I think I actually want to start attacking. These looters are surprisingly bad. I don't really want to loot away anything. All right, now the opponent needs like Evan Carr's Justice or something, which is probably in the format. Okay, that's not it, thank goodness. Just shoot that. Okay, we get to attack for two, and then if they block, we get to kill it. Um, I don't think that one attacks. So we'll do this. 
Quick walk. Uh, repentance. Boop the snoot, and then we will do that again. And now we'll just play Merfolk Looter and plan on looting away the land. Pass. <coughs> Still always losing to, I don't know what this is. Okay, uh, it's just an annoying guy. You got it. Uh, this doesn't have flying, do oh, it gains flying. You tap the black. Okay, so start with the loot and plenty of lands that we don't want here. Uh, I think I will pitch island and now we will cast spirit on core, holding up white mana for the tap ability and then we're just going to pass the turn. We should be in pretty good shape. Would you like to have your 4-4 four, four become a 3-3? Three, three? You would, because you don't really have another option. Dothy Slayer, OK. And a concession, makes sense. All right, so this deck seems really insane. Okay, and we're paired against a 0-0, zero, zero. sure. <clears throat> so this person probably just finished their draft or something. And this hand looks pretty good to me. Uh, we have looter to ensure we do eventually hit land drops. And I think I have a feeling without really knowing anything about this format, I have a feeling that green is just gonna be horrible. But we'll see what the opponent has here. They could have something, they could have like something that finds, yeah, mulch, and then they can find like mountains here, and then, yeah, okay. I am much more afraid of, of mountain than I am of um, forest, that's for sure. Okay. So now we will play Merfolk Looter, and I already don't love my spot. We just, we don't really have any pressure. Red-green probably won't have very many things that Rootwater Hunter can kill. Let's see what this is. Something with an additional cost. Harrow, maybe? Yeah. So Harrow into two drop, or, oh, black mana. Okay, opponent's up to some nonsense. Kindle, that's fine. I might not have even activated the looter there, so. Don't mind that. Now we'll play Windrake. At some point, we could be in rough shape here, though. I wonder if I'm supposed to hold up a blue when I play Wayward Soul. Okay, Gravedigger, find the 3-3 regenerate, probably, this guy. What does this one do? It's a mana dork. So you should get this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the opponent is not just, like, any green deck. They're the, like, kind of greedy green deck, which seems like a good place to be, I think. Uh, I think our play here is somewhat forced. I think we have to attack, play Wayward Soul, and then next turn we double spell. I just hope that they don't continue to have good cards that get two for ones, like they already have had two of, the Mulch and the Grave Digger. It's a nice combo, by the way. And they already have a lot of mana, too. When did they? Oh, that was the Harrow. Yeah, the opponent, I don't know exactly what they're doing over there, but it's sweet. Uh-oh, this is hopefully just the 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so now go ahead and attack. <clears throat> And I think we play this one. Actually, I know we play that one. And then now the question is, do we play Master Decoy or Youthful Knight? I think it's the Decoy. I mean, any kind of like Rolling Thunder, whatever, is just going to send us back into... Okay, Rampant Growth does not matter to me very much. I am getting to the point where I'm a little bit worried and feel like it might be nice if we had this miss up. 
Uh, Youthful Knight plus Rootwater Hunter actually prevents the opponent from even attacking profitably with the 3-3 next turn, which is good. Something's getting killed here. Blocks if able. Okay. And they draw a card. Alright. Well, we'll block the one where um, we effectively gain an extra life by doing so. I guess I could have double blocked the other one, but that didn't seem very good. Land would be a nice draw here. Rootwater Hunter number two, also a good draw. So now we go Rootwater Hunter number two. Now we go the Youthful Knight. And the nice thing about this is the opponent has to figure out a way to attack and try to solve the problems that we're causing for them here, which should not be super easy to do. The thing about when something regenerates is it gets removed from combat, which is why the Youthful Knight can, can block here thanks to First Strike. Let's see what they do here. Okay, they just pass. It seems good for me. They need the nuts here, and they need it this turn because the rest of the game I'm going to have dismiss up unless they have it right now. And they have a concession. Okay, nice. All right, well, so far this deck continues to be really good, but the opponent... I mean, both opponents have done some scary stuff. Um, so I don't know what their payoffs are for having tons of ramp and fixing, but... Whatever it is, it seems scary. All right. Um, next up, I think we're just running this back. Uh, I think Staunch Defenders and Horned Turtle are options in this matchup, though. Could be a better option than Smite, even. Actually, the Horned Turtle. Um, yeah, I think I like that. Maybe this is weird, but... There's also Gaseous Form... Let's try this. Oh, I was supposed to bring in Hammerhead Shark in round one, wasn't I? Right? Because this is a two mana two three. Yeah, I absolutely should have brought that in. Oops. Okay, we'll keep this. And once again, we have to lead on double white. Only a minute and a half off the clock as well. Okay, looter would be a nice draw. We don't need this many lands. <laughs> see what the opponent's up to here probably a rampant growth yep they could have the uh, sky shroud elf there too they find forest not swamp so they have double green card coming and there's the looter alright um, so they could go just the 3-3 three, three regenerate here because uh, they'll have 4 mana with the land this turn and then we can just play Horned Turtle. Three mana, though. Harrow. Okay. So Harrow into three drop. What can they have here? They're ramping a lot. Hopefully not removal on this. Mage Ilvec. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's get our value now. Uh, we don't need this planes still. Whoops, let's actually um, click in the right place, though. This thing presumably is going to be killing our looter. Happy to trade these in combat if the opponent chooses. Um, like, wait, hold on a second. Okay, what did they pitch here? They pitched a root walla. I think I'm happy about that, frankly. They have this, and now five mana. Oh, what's this one? Two damage. Okay, so it's a 4-4. Four, four. Yep. Ooh, okay. That's a great draw. So now we get to go... I don't care about this guy. Pacifism. Attack. Master Decoy. And then we can play like Spirit on Core slash Horned Turtle. Looking to be in really good shape here. The opponent should attack. They do. We're not blocking. And they can have something big now. Or they can just have air. Feels like they might just have air. 
Um, I want to play land so I can get to my Whispers of the Muse. Um, I think we're actually down to attack with both here, which is kind of weird. And then I guess technically I should leave myself the option to play Whispers and I can like block and it's fine. They chose not to sack a forest. And four mana, it's Gravedigger. Okay, they can get back a Root Walla. Yep. It's like kind of a four four. But we do get a nice attack here with our two five in the meantime. And we get to play Horn Turtle. And we get to tap Root Walla. Okay, so we'll attack first, and then based on what the opponent does, we'll um, figure out whether we're just going to be using the buyback or whatever. So we'll attack. If the opponent goes for the triple block, okay, yeah, if they go for this, then I will just take the opportunity to get the root walla off the table. <coughs> And I think I'm okay uh, paying four life here for the first card. Yep. And let's see what they do. Mog flunkies, sure. And is that it? Seems like they have something else here, maybe not. Buy back this. Six mana draw card. Okay, we find the root water hunter, but oh, okay. So once we can, yeah. So we'll start with Orem. Now we'll play Horn Turtle. And I think now we're actually attacking for one, right? Yeah. This seems very good. I have to make sure I don't go down to like four life or anything here with this guy hanging out, but I don't think that's a problem currently. And another concession. All right. And somebody already has the first trophy, unfortunately, but we're just cruising right along here. 2040, hoping to join Disturbst on the trophy leaderboard. And we're paired against a 1-0 from our pod. And we've got a keep here. Another good hand with the looter. Keep. Lead on planes once again. Ooh, Gerard's battle cry. That is actually a huge problem. Shoot, that's like one of the scarier things I think we could see turn one. Possibly the scariest. <laughs> okay, if they're just passing, then maybe I'm not dead. Um, I think I need to play Master Decoy now. Actually, no. I'm going to play Merfolk Looter. I need to find some action, I think. I'm not really sure. I guess I have action no matter what. Let's play the Decoy. Okay, three mana, and you're gonna pay a life Harrow. Harrow, Gerard's Battle Cry, sacking the Pine Barrens, probably grabbing Forest Swamp here. Do they have a two drop to follow it up though? That might change what they grab here. What is the opponent up to? 
This card is really scary. Okay, so they no longer have black mana. And they play a 1-1. One, one. You got it. Okay. Um, I don't think we're going to have time for this, this game. So I guess it's time for just cycle this. Pacifism, sure. So we will attack for one. And then do I want to play looter? I think I do. A little bit awkward the way I've had to sequence my lands here. Actually, maybe super awkward. Okay, so they just have another sliver, sure. But the slivers are gonna be a problem here in a second and I can't really pass this in it. Uh, and if I play Repentance, they just sack it, draw a card. So I guess I need to start with a loot. Okay, I think that's probably good. We need to ditch island for sure. Plains comes down. Now we play decoy. And I think we just have to tap the 2-2 flyer here. This game's gonna be all about just trying to survive, sadly. If they find double white here, okay. Are they just pumping? Sure. These slivers are gonna give me some trouble here. Combat. Not really sure what I can do about this. Okay, yes, tap out. Okay, great. Okay, so what do I do now? I think I have to play my two white spells. So I guess maybe I start with Repentance on the one that lets them draw cards, and then I play Pacifism on the other one. Um, and then do I Alpha becomes the question. But I'm pretty confident in the first bit here. So this happens now, and now we do this. And I think we just alpha, actually. If they want to trade for the looter, that's fine. We have another one. They don't. That's probably bad for me. Smite is unfortunately kind of looking like Garbo. Okay, they do find a white source, but it enters tapped. They can hit me for four here if they want to. Oh, the toughness ability doesn't matter that much because they do have battle cry in play, sure. Yeah, so they're gonna hit me for four. Not a huge surprise. Let's see what our draw step turns up. Sultari Lancer. So we need to, I think we're attacking with Merfolk Looter. I think the plan is Sultari Lancer and then we attack with this Looter and we just tap their stuff. <laughs> and we should be winning this unless they have some nonsense. All right. Time we'll attack with three because we're playing Wayward Soul. Oh, and we actually, uh, I could smite here. Oh, should I have a, oh, I should have attacked with them all, right? I should have attacked with all of them and then I could smite. Oops, so I missed a point of damage. Okay, but the opponent concedes. All right, well, that part was not ideal, but so far this is looking really good. Um, I don't think I necessarily want Hammerhead Shark, even though they probably have enough blue mana just because they're playing too many colors, I feel like. 
I don't think it's crazy to put a gain four life in there, but I think the biggest thing is I kind of just want disenchant. The battle cry is really scary. And if this is dead, we can maybe just loot it away. Take out whispers, I think. And try again, I guess. I think we got pretty lucky there that uh, the opponent tapped out. So we were able to go for repentance plus pacifism on the critical turn. Oh god, all right, well, we got a mulligan here. First mulligan so far, I think. Mulligan on the draw in this format could be a death sentence, but we've gotta do it. Ooh, okay, this hand is almost great. Uh, we're just missing another white source, um, but it easily has to be a keep. If we don't find the white source, it's gonna be pretty ugly. Uh, but even in that case, like, there may be some chances that we can get out of it. Okay, keep. Goodbye, island. Done. Forest. Sure. No Gerard's battle cry. Okay, well, we find the island. If I can find a looter in the next couple draws, then I'd be thrilled. Um, but if not, that's okay, too. Okay, do they have a sliver here? No, they have nothing. Wow, okay, and then we find the plane. So, so far we have what it takes. We'll see if anything changes here, but currently looking pretty good. Uh, oh, they're gonna counter this or something? Okay, they're gonna mana leak it and it's gonna lock down their thing, that's fine. Uh, the tapper wasn't a huge part of our plan. Um, <clears throat> this is the most important card that we have here, and I don't really know how many answers they could have. Ugh. Okay, drawing land is pretty darn bad, though. We now need to find a looter or just some kind of action. Unfortunately, we put... Or no, we boarded out Whispers, right? Um, oh, well. Okay, so again, they're doing this, and they play a 2-2. You got it. Yeah, okay. So here we just have to bluff our dismiss and pass the turn, of course. Technically, we could smite here, but I don't think we want to do that. I think we just want to block. Oh, they're just not even going to attack, okay. Okay. Um, I'll play Island for Wayward Soul. We do need our looters though, we have three of them. Maybe I shouldn't have taken out Whispers. I felt like I didn't have time for it, but we're almost already there. Gain for life, sure. Blue, black. Okay, so they have a bunch of two twos. <sighs> okay, come on. I need my I need something here. Nine lands is not gonna cut it. I can alpha, I can block a uh, 2-2 two, two, and then prevent three damage to myself. <clears throat> Can't kill anything now that they have the hibernation sliver, unfortunately. Take one, pass the turn. Okay, another master decoy, that's a start. I now have some double blocks available. Do I want to double block? Maybe. Battle cry. 
they're just tapping the one white. Oh no, okay. Three mana, armor sliver. This is gonna end up being a problem for me, I think. Yeah, I need to make the same play now, I believe. Or I just take one. Okay, that's something. Uh, let's tap a little bit better. So which one do we tap with Master Decoy? I don't think it really matters at all. I guess the question is which one do we want to smite the most? Um, another Harrow here, shirt. Sure. I don't think the opponent actually gets anywhere from attacking at this point. Um, so I'll just tap one of the ones I don't care about. So this one I don't care about, for instance. <laughs> okay. And now if they attack, I just have uh, bounce, bounce, prevent the damage to me, assign one damage here. So they're probably figuring that out. Maybe not. Maybe it's still better for them to do this. I'm not really sure. But regardless, I'm just going to make the same play. They need to pump the toughness on this one. Yep, now I send the damage here. Now I prevent three damage here. Okay, warrior on core, that's good. So now I can start attacking slowly but surely here. I'll play another planes. Um, not that it really matters. Attack, and I can't send anything else. It's not quite a punish for them attacking me. If we drew the creatures in the opposite order, then it would be. Because this wouldn't be able to attack on the ground. Okay, combat, tap a random thing. Go. They're going for this again. It still doesn't accomplish anything, though. I mean, maybe they drew something. I don't know. We're just going to continue making the same play. I mean, as the opponent, you have to think you're kind of dead here, right? Like, you have to draw the flying sliver, but even then, like, this still prevents three damage. This still taps stuff down. This one is flying. You need the battle cry, I guess. That's the idea. <clears throat> I 
Tap on tap, sure. At some point, I'm just gonna draw my merfolk looters and this game's gonna end, I think. Okay, it's weird for them to just pass priority, but I'm still gonna take game actions. What is this? Now it's a toughness pump. Yep, and now I just prevent the damage to myself. Like we're getting there eventually, at least that's the plan. The one thing I have to remember is that the gain for life guy is going to make this take even longer than it seems like it would take, which is unfortunate. I don't really have any way to get this stuff off the board. Like I can draw both my pingers I really need some way to protect Orem here, so I never go shields down. Unfortunately, I don't have one, though. Ah, the opponent has something else. If it's green mana and it's like a pump spell, then we just smite this. Yeah, so we just smite this, and now they don't even draw a card, which is kind of sick. And like, they can't draw a card here. They can't... Oh, I guess they can return this to hand. They can return this to hand, but... Um, they have to remember that one. Um, the Elvish Fury gets countered. That's the biggest, the biggest part of this. And obviously I keep the, the Orem. All good things. Good thing I tapped correctly and all that. Let's see if they remember their, uh, yeah, okay. So they return that to hand. But now it's not even coming down right away, which is fine. So we can probably make a more aggressive attack now that this has happened. Uh, and I've redirected my one damage. Okay. And there's the Merfolk Looter. Okay, so now we do this. And now that we can tap one, block another, prevent the damage to myself, we can swing for four here. We just want to get as aggressive as possible. try to make this prevent this game from taking a year or whatever here there's the 2-2 two -two again and the opponent has one card in hand uh, so we'll go to combat just tap a random one and yeah we should just be all set here they shouldn't attack with anything now yeah uh, and then now I can only serve with my flyer Ooh, but we do find the root water hunter oh we find the double all right well, the hunters are coming to town, and here they are. Now we attack for two in the air with the spirit on core, and just pass the turn. This game's going to end pretty soon, barring like a sweeper or whatever. Even the battle cry I don't think does the job here. Yeah, they only have one pump right now on the battle cry. Battlecry is pretty busted, but okay. Let's go beginning of combat. Tap whatever down here. So I have to redirect two damage. Um, let's see how this works. Okay, so let's let them attack. They attack with all three, yep. And then I do have to be a little bit careful about this. Um, I guess I just don't block with Orem, and then I can... I have more damage that I can redirect to it. Uh, I can just gain three, and then... Yeah, I guess the rest of it will be this just putting two damage there, right? So we just block whichever, this one. <coughs> and... They activate this to give uh, plus one, plus one to everybody. And then now I have to put my two damage on the other ones here. 
So this goes here. And this goes here. I guess I could have put it on Orem. I almost forgot my Orem activation. Do want to make sure we're not losing the race here somehow. The opponents, I mean, they have to start sacking stuff now, right? They're at nine. I guess all my stuff is super tiny, but they have to start sacking stuff pretty darn soon. All right. Uh, I guess I start with a looter activation. Um, seems like it's hard for that to be wrong. <sighs> Stupid <laughs> lands. <laughs> um, okay, I don't need this island. Um, and of course we can't kill this stuff. They have too many ways to prevent that from happening. Um, so I guess... I actually just passed the turn now, and I'm just going to start using the Hunters um, to get my damage in. I could, like... Yeah, no, I th think that's all. It's weird, though. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I, this is definitely correct now that they have double white, uh, so they're effectively 4-4s, four but I'm not even sure... Hmm... I'm not sure um, how we can actually afford to block here. So we can block here and put two damage on this. If we block with this one, it's basically dying. Um, we just don't have enough toughness. Unfortunate. Okay, combat, tap, whichever. This game is fairly hard. Famous last words, I'm sure. I guess I could double block one. It's kind of interesting. But then, do I get to see how they assign damage? I probably don't get to see that. So I guess I just take... F how much damage do I take? I take five damage here. I hope I didn't screw this up somehow. All right, let's go to blocks, block here, and then we're going to prevent three damage to ourself, and then, yeah. Yep. I could sack one of my things, but I think this is the best way to do it, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, this happens, and then now the one thing about this, oh, I wasn't thinking about this, actually. Um, which is that they no longer have very much mana up. Okay, so this happens, and then one damage here, one damage here. Oh, I said, did I say two damage? It has to be three. Just put another one like here. I don't know. Prevent three. This battle cry is pretty busted, but they just don't have enough white sources to leverage it fully. I guess I could have attacked, right, because I didn't have enough toughness to use my encores. So yeah, I missed two damage there. That could actually be a pretty huge deal. Okay. Oh, and there's another encore. Can I threaten lethal here? Two, four, five, yeah. So with the Rootwater Hunters, I can force them to sack something. Seems like it's worth it. I think it has to be. It, it's really unfortunate that I didn't uh, make the other play here, though. Oh, please sack one now. Okay. 
All right. And now, of course, if they go to sack one, they lose. Um, so we're going to force them to do it on their turn. Um, tax that mana. Yeah, if I didn't miss the two damage, we'd probably already be there. OK, we have to activate this now because this one is summoning sick, and it's worse than all the others. And now if they they want to sack in response, does this matter? OK, they gain four life. Yeah. OK, I don't think that mattered, fortunately. Oh, and they have something else here, too blue mana curiosity okay sure I mean we're just tapping that one anyway yeah so we win um, unless again unless they have some unforeseeable nonsense here so they now have the thing is if they go for the two pumps um, I think they actually lose so we'll see what happens here. Yeah, if they if they now go for a pump, I actually get to ping this, and then this dies. They either have to sack it to gain four life. Well, we'll see once we get there. But uh, unless I like really mess this one up, it should be a trophy. Okay, tap that. Okay, go to combat. And now we will block here um oh here's an interesting question i don't think i want to block with the orem but let's just see what they do here so yeah here's the here's the rub if they go for this pump and it looks like they will now i get to ping this and they have a couple options they can pump again which leaves them dead they can gain four life which I think is the only way they survive. Yeah. Um, and now, what does this mean for me? So they have pumped once here. I'm going to direct a damage here. And I'll direct a damage here. And I'll prevent three damage to myself. And now we actually get to untap and ping the life gain guy to death. And now we get to do this. I, I mean, this is over, right? I don't know. Maybe that one stays back. Or wait, are they just dead? Just nine you? Okay. Okay. All right. Yay, we got there. Uh, there's Dan, or Don, just beat us onto the, the leaderboard here. I should have thought about their life total before pinging, but I really just wanted to get that obnoxious gain for life guy off the board. <laughs> Um, don't be like me though.